guys, RLL Bricks here, back with another video uh, reviewing a older set that came out during Infinity War that I finally got my hands on. Um, this is the Infinity War Milano Thanos Ultimate Battle set. So, uh, yeah, guys, before we look at this awesome set, um, if it, you know from my vlog video, which should be out right now, I am moving, so this is the final sets I will be reviewing in my studio er area here so yeah just check that video out if you want to see more about me moving um but here we go let's start off so here's first the, box. the box I'm trying to fit it all in here uh, it is a really big box we've got thanos and the minifigures uh the box art and the superheroes logo um so that's pretty much the front of the box we got a little thanos over on the side of the box too um, the back of the box is pretty cool. It shows some product details, um, some box art as well. Uh, we got like the Infinity Gauntlet there, uh, features that you can do with other sets, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, comes with a bunch of blast pieces. So enough with the box. Let's move on to Before the set. Before we do itself. that, let's look at some of the minifigures. First up, we have Iron Man. Here's the Mark 50 Iron Man. This is actually pretty cool. He's got, um, like a jetpack on his back. Let's see if this will focus. There we go. Uh, it's got some pretty cool printing on him, on his torso. These are stickers. They're pretty cool. Um, he's got a helmet with blue eyes, which is the first time I've ever seen that. Uh, and he's got a hologram on his face kind of thing. And that's new for Iron Man. I really do like that. Uh, on the back, though, he's got a normal smile face, which I do like. And you can put that helmet back on. He's got some jetpacks, as I said. Um, this is what he. This is his back printing, right here. It's pretty cool. Um, for me, this is a new piece. This right here, this uh, back connector thing. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before uh, in any of the sets I've gotten so far. Uh, here we have the blast pieces that you can connect on his hands. These are pretty cool. And let's see, actually, as you can see, they connect to his hands. Also, we have the, um, fireball pieces. Pieces, yes, I have, it comes with two of them. Even though I only connected one so far. But here we go, here's the fireball pieces. And that's pretty much it for Iron Man. So let's move so on to So here we have Thanos. Um, and that's a pretty cool big fig. I do like his face printing. I like his blue eyes. He's kind of angry and he's got his little chin. Um, I also like how he has the helmet detail up there. Even though he's not movie accurate. I actually think this helmet's pretty cool anyway. Um, I do like the printing on his torso. That's pretty cool. And he does come with this simple little um, sword. Which I do like when he's not using his Infinity Gauntlet. And before we go on with the rest of the minifigures, let's look at his Infinity Gauntlet. As you can see, he's got, it's on a stand kind of thing. These are all stickers right here. Um, but it's also, it's all good. It looks good. Um, and here are his, his Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, if we bring in Thanos, we can take off his hand, and he can switch it out with the Infinity Gauntlet. And that looks pretty cool, even though he doesn't have any Infinity Stones in it yet. Um, but yeah, let's uh, move on to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, so set. first up, uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy in the set, we have the main leader guy, Chris Pratt, or uh, Star-Lord, yeah, Star-Lord, or P Peter Quill, whoever you want to call him, yeah, here we go. Um, he's pretty cool, I really do like this minifigure. Uh, I do like the hair. It's the perfect hair choice. And the face looks amazing. This is my first uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Star-Lord I've ever gotten. So that's pretty cool. He comes with these awesome little gun pieces. And his torso print is awesome. He's also got a print on the back as well. But uh, nothing else to say with this guy. Except that it's an awesome Okay, so here we have, um, I believe it's Gamora. Yes, Gamora. Um, she's awesome. Uh, a lot of printing on her, actually. I do like the hair print right here. It's got, like, pink in it, and it's pretty cool. 
Um, I do like how they have the printing for the torso. I think this is the only Gamora that I actually like. Uh, there's she comes with two katanas. Uh, I like her because of the torso print. Don't know why, but the other ones are just like really plain, and I don't really like them. But this is my favorite, I believe. Uh, so here we have uh, the face print. That's a pretty nice face print. And we got um, an angry expression, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also some back back printing. Um, but uh, besides that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So let's move on to the so right set here itself. we have this little scooter. Uh, let's just start off with this first because it's the smallest build of the set besides the Infinity, Gaunt Infinity Gauntlet stand. But it's a little scooter. I believe it's supposed to be like that, but I think it looks better like this. Just having the control panel like that. You can fit two minifigures up here and a few accessories. So yeah, um, let me actually show you what that looks like. Here we go. There's what it looks like with uh, the accessories and the minifigures on. This is pretty cool. It's got some purple, um, kind of like blast pieces here. It's pretty cool. Um, but there's also a ball joint in here, and I'll get to that in just a sec. Uh, it's to uh, connect it to another thing. But yeah, let's show that off actually right now. Okay, so here's the Milano. As you can see, it has this opening hatch right here. So you just open this hatch, and you can just put the scooter thing in there, and close the hatch, and that's what the con scooter connects to. So let's actually look at the Milano real quick. It is too big for the camera to just sit there, so I'm going to have to pick it up and show you. might be a little wobbly, but here we have the front section. It's pretty cool. I actually like all the detail, little detail under there and under here. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice print for the window. And we have a sticker actually right here for the wings, both wings. This is also a sticker up here. These two are stickers as well, and that's a sticker. Oh, we got some stud shooters on each side so that it can fire at Thanos. Uh, we have wings, wing pieces right here that they can both move. Um, and yeah, that can be on both sides if you would like it to be. Also, we got right here, this can move as well. Um, back here, this piece can lift up, and you can put, uh, push that down, and uh, you get kind of like a seating arrangement inside, with little stickers on the walls. Looks pretty cool. I don't know, they're kind of hard to access and see, but there's still some detail in there. And as you can see, there's the little escape pod scooter thing right there in the back. Oh, uh, then you can put this back on as well if you would like and it should kind of look like the ship just opened in the back and you can store this infinity gauntlet right in the back there if you would like to as like Iron Man's kind of like putting it in there so that it could fly away from Thanos so Thanos can't get it but let's close that back up and look at one more detail hold on I'm gonna close this back up fell off <laughs> okay yeah let's look at this one last detail that's on the bottom or this yeah underneath the wings they've got these little um rotor or the power blast kind of like engines of the ship i thought that was awesome how they did that it looks awesome and it looks exactly like it does in the movies so let's get this right back up again um, and then we got one more thing to look at before we So the last the thing that we're going to look at is the Infinity Stone it comes with. This is the Reality Stone. I have not punched it out of this piece uh, holder thing yet. It is very, very tiny. Um, but yeah, I have not gotten it out of there yet. But here's what it looks like in there. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I really like uh, how it comes with. Actually, you know what? I think it should have come with more. Um, if they if it came with more, I would think I would enjoy it a little bit more. But you know, it's just, just like the theme of it. They try to get it to collect them all. It's kind of I don't really like it when they do that. But that's fine. I can. I think I'm just gonna order it off of Bricklink. The rest of them. 
So, um, yeah, that's, that's it for this so far. Let's look at the final so um, that's set all together. The final set, it is a really cool set. I really like it. Um, for $70, it's not great. So if you, um, see it on sale for around 50 that's about what I got it for. I say you should pick it up, and I suggest that you pick it up, because it's, it is an awesome set, and it comes with good minifigures if you don't have, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy already, or Iron Man, or or Thanos or something. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.